for many years I used to find Aristotle's ethics really very hard to follow because I was reading Aristotle expecting him to give me a recipe for finding out the difference between right and wrong and for discovering the right thing to do in any situation and the criterion for recognizing what was universally wrong. But that's not the way Aristotle depicts our human life. He says that, that ethical questions are continually subject to reconsideration, that the problems, of, that moral problems are like the problems of a steersman, for instance, who, who's taking his boat along a hazardous shore and has to decide when to change tack. Um, he, he has his eye always on a hundred things, the state of the water, indication of shoaling of the shore, the changing force of the wind, whether the sun is just setting, and so on. And th it's the capacity, to, the capacity to see through the complexities of the local conditions to a point at which you can take a reasonable decision. That's, that's what is the mark of the wise steersman. And he says the same thing about doctors, that a wise doctor is one who doesn't think he has a cut and dried recipe for this whole disease. The wise doctor is the one who's monitoring the patient's condition and, uh, and recognizing when he has to change the treatment in order to, in order to uh, do the best possible for the patient. Uh, and, 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 and ethics, he says, is like that. Ethics is, is in this respect. Uh, subject to the occasion. Uh, you have to do the right answer is the answer which is, a, 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 which is appropriate uh, proston chiron, uh, w which perhaps is best translated into English as, as the occasion demands. And the occasion is itself something that's continually changing. So I think the kind of wisdom we have in ethics is a kind of wisdom which is much better much better described using words like reasonable than it is words like rational. If we emphasis, rash, emphasize rationality too much in thinking about ethics, in thinking about decision and action, we lead ourselves back into the trap of thinking that we can prove in a, in a general kind of way what is right, what is wrong in all cases, in all circumstances. And that's not the way life goes. The way life goes is that we are continually being confronted with fresh, complex constellations of difficult situations, and we have to steer our way through, you know, we have to steer our way through the shallows, through the rapids, past the rocks, between the, between the headlands. It's this image of the steersman, I think, is a very striking image that Aristotle uses, and if you think about not about ethical theory, if you think about the way we, we carry, take our own lives through the situations that we encounter, it's one which I think gives us a much better balanced idea of what the role of the intellect is in these situations. Because for Aristotle, the question was not can, I mean, he actually goes out of his way to say that Pla the Platonist approach of thinking that you can produce some ethical theory which when you plug in the right variables will generate a conclusive answer. He, he, he goes out of his way to say he thinks this is wrong, that he thinks it's just, this is just a mistake. Rather, rather, so far as the kind of basic things that we approve of or disapprove of go, he thinks we have a kind of human perception which enables us to know. We all know cruelty when we see it. We can always tell if somebody is being cruel to somebody else, that kind of thing. Cruelty, he says, is something which we know when we see it the way we know a triangle when we see it. To recognize a triangle is quite different from proving that a triangle is a triangle. I think we see it, there it is. Cruelty. We, we don't have to go out of our way to prove that something is cruel. We can see when people are mistreating each other. And, that's, and this is the kind of human perceptiveness that I think underlies what, in the last resort, Aristotle sees as our capacity to see our way through these situations. And then we, I mean, a, an honest discussion of a problem like the problem of 
whether we go on doing anything for this terribly damaged premature infant. The, 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 the way in which we do this is indeed to sit down together and see if we can't talk our way through the situation to the point at which we can all, while continuing to feel sad, nevertheless feel that the decision that is taken about acting is one that we, that we can all live with sadly without losing a sense that this was tragic, but nevertheless with a sense that what could be done was done and we accept the result, tragedy and all.